Mountains have been mesmerized by the moon since the dawn of man. And although many theories have been proposed, scientists cannot say with absolute certainty how this celestial object came into being. When I was a student, nobody really knew where the moon came from. Well, because it's so relatively big, uh, this was a real problem. And I think that there is a tendency to think that moons get somehow captured by the parent planets. If you've got one body here and another body come, coming along, it can't just get trapped into orbit like that. The difficulty there is just basic physics. So this remained a puzzle until about 20 years ago when another theory came along, and that is that the proto-Earth was very early on in the history of the solar system hit by a Mars-sized body. Hit obliquely that this Mars-sized body plowed into the center of the Earth and became the Earth's core, and a lot of the outer material got stripped off by this gargantuan collision and coalesced to form the moon. Now, they had to come up with a very a bizarre theory for how the moon came into being because all the conventional theories don't make any sense. The best theory of the moon's formation is phantasmagorically catastrophic collision of two things, you know, at just the right angle to form this belt of debris that then formed the moon. But the moon, its exact size is such that it gives us total eclipses. Its disk exactly covers the sun. And the chances of that occurring are so literally astronomically small. It's, it's very disturbing.